Good day, YouTube fam. This is Tekken Armory, and today we are going to discuss how to punish Nina. We are going to show a variety of categories on how to punish, what to do in certain situations, and some extra tips that may help you when you fight this character. Punishable on block moves are the moves that you can block and hit the enemy before they can recover their guard. All block hit moves that are negative 10 and below are considered to be punishable on block moves. We have three types of punishable on block moves. Launch punishable on block, punish on block, standing, and punish on block while rising, also known as while standing. Launch punishable on block are the moves that you can punish using your preferred launcher since these moves are negative 15 and below on block. For low launch punishable, use a rising launcher. This string can be extended, be careful. Next, we move on to punish on block, standing, or punish from neutral stance. If you see this ending pose, remember that it is negative 14. This string can be extended, be careful. We now move on to punish on block, while rising. The punishers are rising since you will be blocking their low attack. For this move, this forced you to crouch after so your punisher will be rising. This string can be extended, be careful. That's all for punishable on block moves for this character. We will now move on to the next category. We will show you when to parry or sidestep certain strings. For this move, you can choose to either parry or interrupt the second hit. We now move on to dodge end of string high. 
These are just strings that have highs at the middle or the end of the string that you can crouch to and punish accordingly. In general, all gunshots are high enders. For this string, once you recognize the third hit's animation, duck immediately and punish. You can try to duck last hit, but be careful it has a mid alternative ender. All moves after down forward three of Nina are highs. If you recognize the kick, duck immediately. This move has a mid-alternative ender. Be careful. Another tip for gun enders. Do not try to punish immediately, or you might be hit by the last bullet. Also, please note that Nina has more bullets fired when she is on heat. We now move on to on-hit moves. Of course, there are times we get hit to recognize some of the frame data when hit is important, as well as we can still do a lot of things even if the frame advantage is on the opponent. This move is negative on hit. This move is zero on hit. You can sidestep or do a power crush. This move is zero on hit and forced crouch. You can try to do an 11 frame punisher. We now move on to borderline safe moves. These are moves generally negative nine or negative eight on block, which is safe. But remember that this signifies that this, the end of their turn. You can try to do a quick neutral mix up. We now move on to plus moves. Most of these we cannot counter, but it's best to know these so that we avoid moving too much once we blocked. Some extra tips for you when facing this character. Her gun attack enders are negative nine. However, it has a large pushback, therefore Nina can still do a power crush. 
her gun attacks do the most chip damage. Her other moves besides heat engages that can do chip damage is her spiral explosion, which has a yellow electric animation with a pose like this. She can delete her opponent's recoverable health using her chain grabs. She can also delete the recoverable health using Kiss Shot, which is a move available if she is in heat. Her sidestep one move on block is around plus 10 when she triggers her dash. Do not try to punish this move. On hit, this give her more plus frames, but you can still block. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Feel free to comment your feedbacks and suggestions. Also, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to watch more content like this.